Ciao friends and welcome to a new video from SQL BI. In this video I want to talk about the Keep Filter Calculate Modifier. Keep Filters is a calculate modifier that lets you change the way Calculate applies the new filter to the filter context. Indeed, by default, Calculate overrides the outer filter context with the new filter that you specify. But you have the option of keeping the outer filter that is useful in several scenarios when you want to obey filters placed by the user and only restrict the calculation. Keep filters works with uh, one column filters and with multiple column filters. You can actually obtain the same result as keep filters by using values or by changing the way you write your calculate expression. So we are going to see several examples of using key filters or obtaining the same value with uh, values uh, as a separate filter or inside filter, both with one column and multiple columns. Let's get started. We start with our usual Contoso report uh, that is slicing by color the value of the sales amount. Now, you can write a measure that we are going to call always red that always returns the sales of red products. So always red, always red uses calculate, computes the sales amount, the same measure we are seeing right now on the screen, but we apply a filter on the product color saying I want only to consider red products. This measure overrides the outer filter context. So we format it as a decimal and as soon as I place it in the report, you will see that it will show the value of red, that is 382, everywhere. If I place it there, you see that the value is 382 everywhere. The reason is Calculate uses this new filter for color equals red to overwrite the outer filter that the visual placed on the color. What if I don't want this behavior? I want my calculate expression to restrict the filter context but never move it away from the outer one. So if the outer filter context contains a filter, for example, for purple or black or white, we want to uh, add the new filter for red so that it is intersected with the outer filter. In that case, you can obtain the same effect by using this effect by using keep filters. So we can write a new measure that we call now only red. Let me copy the code of always red. We call the new measure only red because that is going to show red only when red is already selected. And to do that, we just add keep filters around the condition. Keep filters instruct calculator not to use this new filter to override the filter, but to keep the existing filter and add this as a farther filter. As usual, we format it the right way and then we place it in the report. Now you see the difference between always red and only red. Always red always returns red. Only red returns red only when red is already selected. You can actually obtain the same result as using keep filters by using at least two other different techniques. Remember, the goal is to keep the existing filter. So one way is to explicitly add the previous filter to the filter context in the same calculate. So calculate will overwrite the outer filter, but we add another table function to recreate the previously existing filter. By using values, we grab the currently the current set of values that is visible in the filter context and we place it again on the filter context. So we can write a new version of uh, uh, only red that we call only red values. Let me write a new measure. We call it only red values where we avoid using keep filters and we add a further filter that is values of product color. These values uh, returns uh, the set of uh, product colors that are visible in the current filter context. And remember, while these values is being uh, executed, it is being computed, uh, the filter context is the outer one. Calculate will change the filter context, but that is going to happen later, after values has been evaluated. 
So only red values formatted the proper way produces the very same result as using keep filters. Uh, only red by using keep filters is typically a bit faster than using values, even though the optimizer does a great job in uh, using the same code for both versions. But the only red with keep filters is easier to read instead of only red with values. You can actually obtain again the same result if we start from only red. If uh, instead of using the short syntax for the condition, we use the extended one, the full filter expression. Let me show you that. We can create a new version that I call only red values with the extended syntax. If we just remember that writing product color equals red is actually equivalent to writing a more complex expression that uses filter over all product color where the product color equals red. This version right now is the same as the one without keep filter. We can look at that with the matrix. If I place it here, it shows 382 everywhere. The thing is, by using the extended syntax, I can change the code, and instead of using all product color, I can use values of product color. By using values of product color, remember, this expression is evaluated still in the outer filter context. Therefore, this is filtering the product colors that are currently visible, and out of them, it's showing only red. By using values instead of all, if I hit enter, now you see that this has the very same result as uh, the other version. If I were to choose uh, between uh, the different versions, I would for sure go for keep filters because it's shorter and easier to read. Besides, it is also more convenient when you have multiple column filters, because right now we are placing the filter on only one column. You can actually filter multiple columns in the same calculate expression. And again, keep filters becomes more useful, even because at that point you can no longer use values. Values works with one column only. If you want to filter multiple columns, you need to write a more complex expression by using summarize. Let me show you that. What if I create a new measure? Uh, let me remove everything from here. Only red, only red values, and only red values extended. And I copy just only red. I create a new measure. Actually, I want to compute always red and contoso. That places the filter on both uh, product color and the product brand. So I want to make an end condition and I want the color to be red and uh, the product brand to be equal to contoso. Now, this filter is working on multiple columns. And if I place it in the report, you see that formatted the right way, it shows a different value. And it doesn't matter whether I filter only by color or by brand and by color, that will always be the same value. If I expand the Fabricam or Contoso, that's the same value everywhere, which is the value of uh, red Contoso. What if I want to obtain uh, the combination only when red and Contoso is already selected? Well, again, we know the answer. We can just copy everything and create a new measure that we call only red and contoso, where I surround everything with keep filters. Now the outer filter will be kept and the new filter will only be added as a further filter. And if I use only red and contoso, format it the proper way, you see that it's blank everywhere, except when I see red and contoso, where I have my value. What if I want to express the same syntax with multiple columns, but this time without using keep filters, using values? I can no longer do that, because uh, this filter is equivalent to a different expression. Let me copy always red and contoso. Yeah, always red and contoso is fine. I can create a new measure that this time will be only red and contoso with values. What I would like to do here is add values of 
product color and product brand. Product color and product brand. The thing is, this syntax is not supported. I can use values with one column. I cannot use values with multiple columns. That is why I need to use summarize. I can use summarize product by product color and product brand. And again, I obtain my goal. I start from the product table. I group it by brand and color so that the resulting table contains the combinations of brand and color that are currently visible in the filter context. If I write it this way, I get rid of always red that is no longer useful. And I use uh, only red contoso value. I place it here, format it the right way. A bit more real estate. Here we go. Uh, only red contoso, we format it as a decimal number just to see the numbers with the same format. And you see that only red contoso shows the same value as uh, only red contoso values shows the same values as only red. Then we can get rid of this because we still need a new version of the code. Because uh, what if I want to use a different syntax? Well, I can create a new measure that I call only red contoso values with the extended syntax. Again, we get rid of the key filters modifier and we go for the extended syntax. Now, this time, we know this is equivalent to all product brand, product color, where, and I have my condition. So this version of the code right now is equivalent to always red contoso because I have this all here. You can always check it. So we add, we format it the right way. We place it in the visual and you see that it shows the same number everywhere. If I want to obtain the same effect as uh, key filters, what I can do, well, what I would do, I would like to do is use values here, but we know this is not going to work. Instead, I can use summarize as we did before, and I summarize product by product brand and product color. Again, this summarize is going to return the combinations of brand and color that are visible in the current filter context. Out of those, we retrieve only Contoso and red, and we obtain the same outcome as the previous one. So keep filter is extremely powerful whenever you want to always restrict the current filter context, keeping the outer filter and avoiding to overwrite the outer filter. As you have seen, keep filters is simple to use, leads to a short syntax that is easy to understand, and the optimizer has a very clear picture of the number you want to compute. Therefore, it will be able to write the code the best way. Among all the possible solutions, for sure, using keep filters is your best option. Keep in mind, keep filters can also be used not as a calculate modifier, but during iterations. You can write SUMX, and instead of doing a SUMX over product or over values of product brand, you can do a SUMX over keep filters product or keep filters all product brand. These key filters uh, at that point is no longer a calculate modifier because you are using it inside an iterator. The usage is a bit more complex. That is the reason why we have a different article that explains into detail why and when it is useful to use keep filters around an iterator. That is not a very common operation to do, but when you need it, you really need it. So if you are in doubt and you want to learn more about using keep filters as an iterator, check out the, uh, the other article that is part of the links that is available at the SQL BI website, where we go farther in understanding keep filters with iterators. Enjoy DAX!